So everyone on the ante is leveling the Paladin class in Raphael Lich King Classic, so I thought I'd make a little list on the best tips and tricks for leveling in Raf Classic. Let's jump straight in with our first tip. So at level 71, you definitely want to be going back to the class trainer, so set your hearthstone somewhere where you are leveling, because you want to go back and get Divine Plea. It really doesn't matter what spec you are playing, Divine Plea is a very, very useful cooldown which is going to maintain your mana, even for Ret and Prot spec. You can actually get a proper retail-like Art of War spell proc effect with Weak Auras. I'll leave a link to that in the description because it is pretty cool. Another thing to know is don't be using stop casting macros with Exorcism because they will reset your swing timer. I also recommend setting up mouse over macros for pretty much every ability that you can, especially if you are a healer, but things like Hand of Protection, Blessing of Freedom, it's going to be very useful so you don't have to click and then press the button. When it comes to leveling as Ret, you definitely want to start Crit over any other stat. The other stats are definitely useful, but that is just the best stat to stack for leveling, and you also want to keep 4% hit chance. This will allow you to stay hit capped on mobs your own level, if you're taking on enemies quite frequently that are one level higher than you, then get 5% hit chance. While you're leveling, do the Return Mary Remains quest, I'll leave that link in the description too, because that will give you a pre-raid best in slot Libram. While leveling, I'd also recommend to do the Ebb and Blade questline for reputation, because that's going to provide you your best in slot boots and head enchant for ret spec. Also do your Sons of Hodor questline while you are leveling up because that's going to get you your shoulder enchants no matter what spec you're playing and if you are playing protection instead of ret at end game you need to focus on Arjun crusade get that to revered for the head enchant then you also want wormless accord revered for the chest piece and then exalted current tour for the gloves then if you're playing holy it's Arjun crusade and wormless accord both to exalted for your pre bis gear if you are leveling, to be honest, in any spec, I'd recommend getting a brutal weapon from PvP if you haven't been able to pick up anything really good from Sunwell. Pop a sharpening stone or obviously a wizard oil on it if you are playing in holy, and put a mongoose enchant on it or a spell power enchant. That is going to be better than anything that you're going to get while leveling up until you are doing high level dungeons. By the way guys, if you liked the video so far, please consider subscribing to the channel, it really does help out. Even though we have smashed 100k subs, still only 23% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to the channel. Now something that you can do now, is get all your weapon skills maxed. Because sometimes during your leveling, you're going to find some kind of upgrade which will be better. But if your weapon skill is like 1 in that weapon, if you boost the character then it won't be, but let's just say for the really unlucky chance that you have not used a certain weapon all the way in your leveling journey, it's going to take absolutely ages for you to get that leveled back up so you can actually do normal DPS with it. So get all your skills leveled up to your max, you can get them in TBC to at least countermeasure that issue. If you are playing Hull of Paladin and you're doing like healing dungeons or you are doing duo leveling, I recommend focusing on haste and MP5 gear while you are leveling. The true best method to actually level in Wrath is to do duo or trio dungeons until level 77, get ahead of everyone in the open world to the point where it's empty, then get epic flying, or obviously get it already, and then do open world leveling. You can very easily do dungeon leveling with any of the specs for the paladin. Now if you haven't done any quest prep yet, then don't worry because there are methods that you can do right now that you can complete in an afternoon to get loads of XP ready for the Raffle Edge King launch. I have made a video about this which will also link in the description, but long story short of that is the Neverstorm, Orca Doom area and Shatterer have loads of quick turn-ins that you can just turn in, Hearthstone, get to Northrend for a portal straight away, obviously to Stormwind or Orgrimmar and Bob's your uncle. If you want to go a little bit extra sweaty, what you can do is, if you haven't already, do all the dungeon quests and get them ready to turn in, but you're going to need people to teleport you around with the summoning stones to all of the different locations around the map, and you can also get your ring quests turned in for Karazhan and Hyjal. But you're going to need two other friends to do all the summons, like you're going to have to summon each other all the way around Outland to quickly go and turn them all in. It doesn't take that long and it is probably the fastest way that you can get a big chunk of XP before you jump into Wrath. If you want the quest list for that, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. 
While talking about quests, I would also recommend if you are doing solo leveling in Wrath of Lich King to get the Aristotic Speed Guide. This guide has been made by the best power levelers in the game, so go and check that out also in the description. Just a quick one, now remember to get Glyph Ascents Undead. Many, many mobs in Northrend while you are leveling will be undead, so you don't want to miss getting that Glyph, and it's your best in slot Glyph for raiding anyway. Remember to use Judgment of Justice to prevent mobs from fleeing and pulling more enemies. Normally when, you know, mobs pull more enemies is not that much of an issue in Wrath because we're so powerful, but nonetheless killing mobs when you've already completed the quest is a waste of time. Recommend getting Title Panel with an XP Tracker plugin because then you can see whether your current method is, you know, good or not. And then you might want to change your method, you know, you can see whether a certain dungeon is yielding a lot of XP or whether you may want to guess it to go into a different dungeon. I do actually have a dungeon grinding guide on my channel as well, which you can check out. I would also recommend getting weak aura to remind you to very simply buff yourself. When I'm leveling a paladin, because I'm so forgetful of a memory of a goldfish, I just forget really simple stuff like remembering to rebuff myself with Blessing of Might. So get a weak aura to remind you of that. I will also link some really good weak auras that are credit to the Paladin Discord. Although they will be more for raiding, it's good to get them installed now, get used to them because they're going to give you loads of useful stuff like spell reminders and buff reminders, everything like that, and obviously procs. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video there. Good luck leveling in Wrath of the Lich King on your Paladin. My name is Metagoblin, to the next video, ciao.